What's up, everybody? Mr. Tony Raw, Sample Slayers, Raw Cut Records, and of course, uh, part of Lyrically Raw. Um, so today I'm just going to show you how I record an external uh, external piece of audio into my Akai uh, software. Uh, I'm going to show you the breakdown. Uh, it's very, very simple. Please do not make this harder than it is, all right? Trust me. Take my little step-by-step step, step, by step uh, tutelage and uh, we'll, we'll take it from there. So once again, I'm showing you how I record, actually for my turntables, I am a DJ, uh, sound for my turntables into the Akai software, and I set it up and go from there, all right? Stay tuned. They call me Mr. Tony Raw. Okay, so as I was saying, uh, this is how I record audio, uh, outside audio into the Akai program. Very, very simple. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse. Uh, let me see if I can see it through the camera. Yeah, I see it. All right, top left-hand corner here, uh, there's an audio tab. Left-click it, right here. Uh, the audio tab is literally where you'll monitor the sound coming in uh, to your Akai software. Let me give an example. Uh, I'm just going to let this play. Okay. Give me one sec here. All right, so I have sound on right now. I actually have uh, my turntables running, which you can't see. But down here, a lot of uh, bottom left-hand side is a little monitor button right here, and that'll tell you when you have live audio coming in. So here we go. Down here, the monitor. That means I'm getting sound. I turned it off so you guys can actually hear me. But down there, you'll see the meter jumping up and down. That means you're getting actual audio in, so you're ready to record. Now, as soon uh, as soon as that's going, uh, you do your regular how you would record your own tracks into the uh, the Akai uh, Studio. Um, just hit record. Go for it. Um, I mean, here it is on the program. Up here, hit record and record your audio live right there in the set. Uh, and that's really it. So I'm going to show you my procedure of recording um, some samples off my turntables and then I'll show you how I break it down and I edit it uh, after I record all the pieces I want. Uh, for this piece of music it's called uh, Lord of This World. It's just an instrumental I, I, I made. Um, I want this little uh, this little sample. This um, Well you'll hear it. All right, let's see. We are now going to progress to some steps which are a bit more difficult. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, I really don't need this chair. Goodbye, chair. <clears throat> we are now going to progress to some steps which are a bit more difficult. <laughs> So I'm going to do that again. But I like the start of it. So I'm going to cut that and keep it. And the rest, eh, whatever. We'll do it again. Audio track number dos. Okay, let's arm the sound. We're not. Now going to progress to some step. We're now okay. something like that. All right, let's go. We're 
now going to progress to some steps which are a bit more difficult. We're not we're, we're not we're, we're, we're now going to progress to some steps which are a bit more difficult. Ready, camp, look at ready, set, set, and begin. We're now going to progress to some steps. I hate it. <laughs> Very, very picky about this stuff. We're not. We're now going to progress to some steps which are a bit more difficult. We're now going to progress to some steps which are a bit more difficult. Ready? Ready? Set, 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 set. And begin. We're now going to progress to some steps which are a bit more difficult. which are a bit more difficult. scratch samples I put in um, some of the mixing and the volume of um, of some of it is really loud and way off so I'm going to chop it up and in the uh, Akai software um, it's quite easy to do that thankfully uh, let's see okay first I have to be in the right sequence so I go to I already have my sequences uh, set up for the entire song. Um, all these scratch parts for my turntables is on the sequence I labeled intro. As I've told you in past videos, please make sure you label your sequences so you can actually find what you're looking for and put them in order in the correct fashion. Because if not, you mix it down and you hear it and your song's all over the place. Not cool. So right here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the uh, waveform here is humongous. Um, uh, it's not, it's not what I want. So I, it, it's too loud. So I want to bring the volume of that down. So let's zoom in here. I'm going to bring it all the way to the end of this waveform where all this craziness starts happening here. Make it a little bit smaller. This right here, I actually want to cut it so I can edit just that part of the wave file. Um, so there you go. I cut it. There's little scissors up here. I just cut it exactly where I want uh, to cut it. And now this part here is where I want to adjust the volume. So to the right of the little scissors up top here in the editing screen, there's a mute button. Uh, I hover. I'll hover over the uh, wave I chopped. Just left click it, you'll see that it goes gray. That means it's totally muted. That's not what I want, but this is the way you edit the actual sound.
Okay, so, sorry, my camera cut off for some reason. And now I look different because now my hat's off. <laughs> um, so you hover over that part there, like I said, uh, with the little uh, mute tab. And when you click it with the mute tab, those there's a level. There's a display here that says level. Actually, that is for the volume of the wave file that you highlighted. All you do is go to that level with your mouse and just move it left or right. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. I can make it louder. I can make it softer. But I want to make it softer because it was way too, 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 too loud. So I brought it down to about 13 dB. So now let's hear what it sounds like. You're now going to progress with your assembly or a bit more difficult. Okay. Perfect. So me bringing it down those 3 dB. Perfect. All right. So now we'll go up here and uh, we'll go to... Actually, yeah, there's an email I was sending out my beat to. You don't need to see that. Uh, <laughs> my track, I'm going to go to Audio 2, check out the second part, see how the volume is. I think we're spot on. Uh, so that's it. Basically, that's all you. Uh, that's all you got to do. It sounds. It it seems like it's a lot, but as soon as you get used to the uh, workflow of recording uh, external audio to this uh, Akai program, I think you'll you'll have it down. Uh, so let's hear the whole track. Let's go to song mode, and let's hear the whole track uh, together and see what it sounds like. Jumping into the verse part of the song. All right, I'm feeling it. All right, so guys, have any questions, comments, concerns, plop it down in the uh, comment section uh, down below. Uh, if there's any videos that you guys want me to do um, on the uh, the uh, Akai <laughs> Akai MPC Studio Black or the Studio or the Renaissance because it's the same program, um, let me know. Uh, I'll be more than happy to break. Um, every function of this program down and if there's a function I don't know I can we can we can learn together so uh, so is there anything you guys want me to do let me know down in the comments uh, please make sure you check out my new website uh, the dot com is official now it's mr tony dot com all my music my services and other stuff um, I have a bunch of merchandise that I just released check that out it's all custom made shirts that I that I made myself they're pretty cool uh, all uh Hip hop bass, basically, uh, old school and boom bat music, that kind of, those kind of T-shirts, uh, and that's about it. So, any questions? Let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, Mr. Tony Raw. Check out my website. Check out all my social media. It's all labeled. You hear this? My phone's blown up. Every day, all day long, all day long. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Appreciate the love. Deuces. I'm out.